This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Glen Allen. Today we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath home. This is a model home, and this is Parade of Homes weekend. Parade of Homes is an event annually that takes place here in Central Virginia. The home builders get to show off their stuff, and this one is truly going to be unique property. Uh, I have not seen anything like this here in the Metro Richmond area, and I think you will be impressed too. There is a site agent that's here on site, and we're gonna get a chance to meet him. He's gonna tell us a little bit about some of the special features here of this home, but you can already see that we've got some special features here. This is an amazing front outdoor living area. I just made that up. Front outdoor living area here on the front of the home. Look at these doors as we come in. Goodness gracious, these are huge. And that's going to be Mike Mack that's going to chat with us here. I'm going to give him yeah. a mic here so he can sure. hear. Thank you. How you doing, Mike? Good. I'm Mike Mack. I'm with Central Virginia Realty, Legault Homes here at Rivermill. Um, we're a complete custom builder, and I'll kind of show you some of the things going on in the house. All right, I'm going to let you hold on to that mic. Yes. We're going to follow you over here. You got it. So one of the things that we try to focus on uh, in Rivermill and Legault Homes and something new to Richmond uh, a different style for Richmond, more modern farmhouse, indoor, outdoor living style. So these are barn doors. These do pull across for privacy at night. Um, now, what we used in the middle are glass Pella brand pocket walls. These are glass walls that just open and slide. They do lock for security. Um, there is also a screen. We live in Virginia, so you better have a screen on the front. You can screen this out and just screen this fully. Um, and if you want to take a look in the back, you'll see that I'm dropping those screens with the remote control. So if I have this front screen, those back doors open as well. Back screen, you just have one big screen in area. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, different for Richmond, that's for sure. Yeah, we've never seen that. What else can you show us? Yeah, let's talk about the kitchen a little bit. Some trends that have been really trendy lately. If you look on the left, you'll see the fridge, but you'll see the freezer on the right. Fridge, freezer separate has been a trend that we've seen in Rivermill quite a bit. A lot of people are moving to that. Dark cabinets are making a comeback. Gold fixtures are making a comeback. Um, in behind the kitchen, if you want to walk back there a little bit, show you the butler's pantry. So we do have a butler's pantry with another kitchen, um, another sink, another dishwasher. We do have some refrigerated drawers here for you for overflow for the kitchen. That's, uh, of course, cafe series. Another sink, another dishwasher here for you. Um, coffee maker, wine floor. All in the butler's pantry. Mike, are you telling me we got a second kitchen? We got pretty much a second kitchen. Yes, a sir. kitchen behind the kitchen. A kitchen behind the kitchen. As you can see, you got a lot of space for our storage. Um, anything that you would need with your you know, storage needs for your kitchen. But we also have a little dry pantry, and I'll show you that too. Okay, I'm following so, you. So, of course, dry pantry space here. Wow. Um, Closet Factory did a wonderful job of doing that for us. And we love it. All right. Give you one more thing, of course. Double wall oven. Single handed open. French doors, both convection. G Cafe Series been very popular. Wow. What's this below? Uh, just another oven. So there's double wall ovens there for you. So you mean to tell me we've got two kitchens and two ovens? Two, you can do all the baking and kicking you need to do. Wow. <laughs> now, so. Mike, tell me, what happens if you have two children and they're both at home virtual learning? Can this house help with that situation? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd imagine you would be able to. You know, we do have a pocket office. Let me show you that. Pocket office? Yes, sir. I'm learning all kind of new terms. I know, right? So pocket office. we do have a pocket office here. Now, we did put a, a wet bar here just to kind of show you what you could do. Okay. If you had kids at home, you could take this office down, uh, this wall down, make this desk bigger. But as you can see, you do have a pocket office here and one here as well. All right, so we got a desk there, and then we have another desk here? Yes. Oh my goodness, wow. Well, yep, yeah, and both of this, of course, this can be closed out. If they need to, of course, uh, you know, need some privacy, whatever. Okay. But this does lead to, of course, a little bit of a mudroom coming straight off a oversized two-car garage. Okay, we're going to take a look here at this garage, but, but before we get there, we have a, what, have powder a room? Half bath. Okay. You step in there and turn toward the bathroom. Uh-huh. Like, step in and turn toward the toilet, look at the toilet. It is automatic. Wait a minute, do that, do, do that again, do that again. I, I, I don't think I can shut it, It's got, but I can raise and lower the seat. Of course, it's automatic flush. Mike, you're spoiling my people. They've never seen this before. Yeah, it's a bidet, bidet system, heated seat, air system, you name it, it's got it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Did you say the toilet has air? It does. So it is a bidet system. So if you need a dryer, it does have a dryer. Crazy, right? I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> leave that alone. <laughs> right? um, an oversized two-car garage. Okay. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, they have it set up now as a sale center, uh, but this would convert back to a normal two-car garage for it's you. Oversized, too, as well. Oversized. And we got a tankless water heater. It is. That's all standard. And irrigation, I see, as well. Yep, irrigation is standard from back and sides. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Well, we're going to finish up here on the yeah. first floor. I think I can handle the second floor. Okay. Because you, you did all the heavy lifting for me here on the first floor. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. We're yeah, going to go on this way, and uh, I think we can pop out back and uh, see what we've got here. If you want me to show you the bottom screens, I can do that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to see those. So, of course, I showed you the mesh screens that are back here. But there are also vinyl screens you can drop. Oh, look at that. Now this is for the winter months, so when it gets cold, if you want to be able to uh, drop the screens, there is a vinyl piece for the door, a vinyl piece over the door. So this can be completely enclosed, that way you don't lose the space in the winter months. Wow, this is truly amazing. And we didn't look out here, um, Mike, but I'm going to give a quick shot sure. out here for the outdoor space. Um, and of course, this is a model, so this is completely tricked out. It is. That is a pergola. One of the things we did in this pergola, if you notice around all the beams, good vegetation and growth, those, we, what we did is we ran the irrigation okay. into each one of those pillars. Wow. So they're self-watered. Self-watered. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that uh, that vegetation getting no. brown or, or dying off on us. Exactly. Okay. Wonderful. Well, we're going to go on upstairs yes, and sir. take a look up there. Goodness. You have definitely earned your keep here today. <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate uh, we, it. Man. We appreciate you. Uh, no problem. Well, enjoy the upstairs. All right. One thing I noticed was these stair. This staircase is huge. It's very, very wide. It may be tough to tell on video, uh, but it is definitely an extra wide staircase. One of the features that we see in today's homes is this second floor loft, and you can see we've got a beautiful one here. This floor plan is very open here, even on the second floor. We've got nice tall ceilings and some detail. Uh, up high as well. We're going to start off here to our left, take you down this hallway. This is going to be bedroom number one, uh, and they just did an amazing job. We've got detail in that accent wall in the back, nice big windows, a walk in closet here. As you can see, we've got the cabinetry already done for you, a lot of custom work here in this home. This is our laundry, and this is an amazing laundry room. You know that you have made it when you not only have additional storage like this in your laundry room, but you have an actual TV in your laundry room. So you can watch TV as you fold there on that quartz countertop, of course. You've got a sink there, and our front loads right there in the corner. Gorgeous, gorgeous design. Here to the left is going to be our hall bath, and it definitely does not disappoint either. Nice modern, clean look. I love the black and gold. That just really makes a nice statement. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna continue on around. We've already talked about this space here, which is our upstairs loft. This is going to be bedroom number two I believe uh, we've got the farmhouse door here and double rods here in that closet once again it's been customized uh, once again the nice tall ceilings and look at that they just did an amazing job getting this home ready for market oh my goodness gorgeous hall bath this is going to be a Jack and Jill style and they opted here, this is a, a unique choice. They opted here for a nice luxury walk-in shower. We see a lot of uh, Jack and Jill bedrooms, excuse me, bathrooms that would be uh, a tub shower, but I think this really works well. Uh, and I imagine uh, that if you opted for a tub, uh, they of course could do that for you if you had a better uh, use of for a tub. This is of course a pocket door here. Um, so we don't have an issue 
with a door swinging uh, in this walkway. So very smart design once again. Gorgeous bedroom. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful detail on the wall. Nice tall ceilings. Uh, this actually feels like a master. It's, it uh, just has a lot of volume to it. And they did the farmhouse here as well with the mirror on it. Okay, let's continue on here to the left. All right, this is where the magic happens. Nice double doors coming into the... Uh, they actually have, have changed the name. It's no longer master. It's a primary bedroom. That's the official name uh, that we're using here in Central Virginia for our MLS. They just made that announcement just a few days ago. Uh, so if I say master bedroom or master bath, it's just because I'm old and it's hard to teach old dogs new tricks. All right, this is our gorgeous primary bedroom. Uh, look at this detail here on the ceiling. They just did an amazing job with this. Okay, straight ahead is going to be our farmhouse door. Oh gosh, this is special. We've got some shelving there, our shower to the right, more shelving. Directly ahead, nice ceramic tub and our vanity area here to the left. This is probably a good 12 feet of vanity space here. We've got tile on the floor. I'm gonna go up front here, give you a nice look here at this tub. Just all types of window here, letting light flow into this gorgeous space. All right, here to the right is going to be our water closet. Tucked away there, nice and convenient. And this is just an amazing show place. Uh, they have sold this particular home, but they can reproduce this. They still have the plans and they can make one just for you. If this looks like it may be right for you or you want something similar, new construction or resale, Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach you on Facebook under Richard Mary Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.